Hello everyone, this is Serious Sponge here, and welcome back to System Shock 2. Now, we are in a familiar place, and that is because this is a separate line, this is a separate line of videos that I'm going to be making about System Shock 2. In this one, instead of the Marine, we're going to be playing as the Hacker, uh, or the Sailor from the Navy. Um, which the Navy, uh, which the, the Sailor, or the Hacker, specializes in more cybernetic interfaces uh, so uh, so I, you guys didn't see me pick my perks so I'll go over them right now um, right now I see I have a strength of two uh, I gave myself bonuses that gave me I have an agility of three a cyber affinity of three and for tech I gave myself a hack skill of one uh, to start out with I don't have any combat experience involving guns right now, except for maybe I, c I think I could use a pistol. Uh, actually, no, pistols. Uh, the, even the most simple of weapons re require standard of two, so I don't actually know any. I don't know how to use a gun at all. So, uh, but eventually I probably will uh, learn how to use some small arms. But sm uh, but uh, guns are not going to be my thing necessarily here. Uh, I think really m I'm going to be more specializing in energy weapons than guns. The entire sector is depressurizing and the blue vacuum shield won't last long. Get through a secure airlock before you're sucked into space. Move it! Um, and uh, of course I have the ability to hack here but I don't have any nanites so I'm gonna have to just punch in the code again. And, uh, yeah. And there is the lady being chased by the, the hybrid, the shotgun hybrid. Warning. Decompression event imminent. Please move immediately to cryo recovery B. Decompression event imminent. This power cell is dead. There should be a recharger nearby. Just use it and it will recharge all the power-driven devices in your possession. After you've recharged the cell, plug it into the auxiliary power unit. That should open the airlock door. Be quick about it. The vacuum seals won't hold up much longer. Good. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade units in this area. There are four types of units in the next room. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. Alright. So, you may see me kind of progress through here, at a, through uh, these levels uh, at a bit faster, because obviously... Uh, if you, though, I mean, I'll try to slow it down for those of you, I guess, who did not want to watch my marine videos, um, or missed them somehow, uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, most of you who probably will be watching this already have, uh, already have, uh, uh, how do you say, yeah, uh, you, you've already seen this, uh, I will accept you haven't seen this because before we were not able to hack into here, so this is one of the many things that you'll see that's different. And you're going to see me completely fail at hacking. Isn't that just nice? There Security we go. access compromised. Security access compromised. So there were a couple speed boosters which aren't going to be particularly useful, and then there was a brawn boost implant. Uh, so you can get potentially get the brawn boost implant early on, and um, and of course, as always, I, I forget. I f almost forgot right there. I'm going to be saving for each deck. I'm going to be saving the cybernetic modules I earned until after I've uh, cleared that deck. And then I will go and spend them all. Uh, psionic amplifier. I'm not psionically gifted, so I'm not going to be using that. And there's a med hypo there. I'm not sure if I missed if I got that one before. And of course, oh, and of course the kind of 
There's explosions, there's an access card for the cryo sector. And then there are some rifled slugs here. Which I will hang on to them until I don't have any room for them. Can somebody let me out? I can't find my card. Please, let me out of here. I got your card. I'll let you out. See? Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. Oh, and here's another hybrid. I'll marry you. I gotta be careful because I'm not a big strong man like I was with the Marine. Ow. That hurt. That hurt really bad. I gotta have to take one of my hypos. Oh, come on. Jesus. Aha, gotcha. And then I found the unresearched object that I ripped out of his body. Because I'm just that much of a badass. I'm a badass cyberpunk hacker. I don't need to see the audio logs. If you guys want to see the audio logs, just uh, watch my uh, watch my uh, uh, marine playthrough. Uh, because those are just wasting time. And uh, that insipid computer Xerxes has shut down the elevator yeah. as well. You can transfer power at the engine core on deck one, which will get the elevator up and running again. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. Wait. There's some kind of maintenance access right on this hallway. You can use it to reach deck one. However, it's locked, and Xerxes is hiding the passcode from me. Dr. Watts should have the... Uh, I'm trying to remember what was the button. There was a button that you could use to stop messages like that. You just give me a second to find it. Da -da -da -da. Where is it? Let's see here. Play unread log. Stop audio play backspace. Code. He's prob there we go. That's much better. Don't want to hear Dr. Polito talking in my ear. All right. This is Xerxes. Hi, Xerxes. Please report any unauthorized database interactions to your direct superior. Remember, a smooth operation. Everybody's responsibility. Okay, Xerxes. Remember, report. Somebody's hacked into this thing again. I'm gonna tell Delacroix. You look like you don't have any sleep. Hi there. Please make your selection. Of course, I can't. I can't hack the replicators yet because I need a hack skill of three. But we have to remember that we have to report any unauthorized database interaction to our direct superior, as Xerxes reminded us. But we are a hacker, so we don't have to report Jack to anyone, because it's likely going to be us. Oh, oh I thought the pistol required a skill of two, but apparently it does not. I was imagining things. And there is, of course, a camera right here. Xerxes has control of the ship's security system. Shh. Be quiet. And I don't want to go down there yet. There's a security turret down there. I believe I have a hack skill of one. I can disable the security system, which will uh, disable that turret right here. This is something you can take advantage of for being the hacker to make it easier on yourself. There we go. Security system and offline. you can see right there in the corner it says that the security has been disabled for 350 seconds. And so that is quite a good amount of time to go and do stuff. And I believe if you're good enough you can even hack the security turrets. You have to have a hack skill of 4 and then the security turrets will shoot enemies instead of you. So that's very nice but we're not, not likely to see that until much later in the game. <laughs> Because it's going to take me a little bit of a while to uh, get a hack skill of four. Um, so we can just sit here and pound on this turret. And then I can just shoot it. And he 
Hey, you gave us some bullets. Thank you. That turret was so nice. He didn't even shoot at me, and he gave me his bullets. Get some armor piercing bullets. Do, 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 do. Put that over there. And then, of course, that goes to the crew sector, but we don't have the access card yet. And since so, we're going to head down over here. The security camera can't see us because the security system has been disabled, so that is very nice. For some reason that took two hits. And then... And there's the monkey that's in here. Ha! Crazy monkeys are no match for me. And then there's of course the toxin hypos. search that and then for some reason this door does not open might be another thing that uh, might be buggy with the, the mod I would presume uh, which that I that's like the only other bug I've ever encountered so far this mod is pretty good pretty darn good uh, but I'm, that's just a wild guess because before that door actually opened when I tried to go through it. Um. And then there, of course, there's the guy in there, but I don't have the <laughs> grenade launcher like I did last time to just uh, thwart him. Give me the med hypo, come on! Oh, he's right there. Silence and Ow, come on. That was BS. And there's a picture of a monkey's head. That looks like, is that a monkey's head? That looks like a monkey's head. Growth pattern. Maybe that's a cell. Not part of the harmony. Not part of the harmony. Yeah, I will make you one with this explosion. And it is done. container and did I search this lady no but I did not search this lady over here who has the hack software no no research software what am I talking about and of course and then there's the door to the research and development sector but I don't have access either please make your selection and then there's a replicator there and um, when you I don't uh, when you hack the replicators, uh, you get lowered prices and you get uh, other options for things to buy um, that will most more often than not will be better. Each deck has a chemical. Shh! You interrupted me, Polito. I don't like it when people interrupt me. Um, more often than not, hacking the replicator will give you access to more better buy options than before. Um, and then there's, of course, the chemical storeroom, which we do not have research, research skill of one. I forgot. I took agility instead of research. And this guy is getting murdered. We're gonna try to save him, but we're too late. Rest in peace, man. I tried to save you. And then I nearly died myself, actually. And <laughs> this whole time, I still have uh, disabled the security system. <laughs> So uh, you have quite a lot of time for freedom. This of is course. Xerxes. Remember, the unauthorized usage of firearms aboard the Von Braun is a class three infraction. Well, I think Xerxes' attempt to stop us kind of failed because the security system in this sector is not working. So, I think right now, whoever is in control of Xerxes is probably feeling kind of dumb right now. <laughs> yeah, the, I, think, I think that's the deal with Xerxes is uh, supposedly uh, to, in order to, to uh, prevent 
something like a like showdown from happening again uh they made it so xerxes is, is like essentially incapable of uh security system online thank you xerxes um is incapable of doing pretty much anything without authorization and so pretty much whoever is uh has access to give him authorization uh pretty much has all of the freedom on this ship um but uh, it will prevent him from like running rampant and doing things himself that people don't want him to do um which i guess it was an okay security measure but it really wasn't because uh the secure the how it's uh they because they also made it so in case he did event uh, end up becoming in control of things uh he would be easily easy to hack into and disable um uh, to, so he's ridiculously easy to hack into, which is why I I can uh, tamper with the security system in the first place. Um, and uh, so, and like you only need a skill of one to hack into the security system. Um, and of course, that makes it bad because uh, Xerxes can be hacked into, like uh, how Doctor Delacroix. I'll play the audio log to show you. Uh, Doctor Delacroix was complaining about how. Uh, the Xerxes security system is very weak and ridiculously poor. Why is it that no one listens to me? The security protocols on the Xerxes system are clearly immature. Some idiot hacked into the primary data loop last night and made Xerxes sing Elvis Presley songs for three hours. I finally had to pull the voice subsystem offline. What would happen if someone with a real agenda got into him? So yeah, and Dr. Delacroix is going to be, I don't know if I said this la in the last uh, series, uh, in, in the Marine series, but Dr. Uh, Marie Delacroix um, is, was the chief uh, engineer, I mean chief designer behind the, uh, that made the uh, faster than light drive of the Von Braun possible, um, and uh, she was, uh, her work piqued the interest of Anatoly Korenshkin, um, who uh, was a senior executive for tri for Trioptimum, or maybe he's the CEO. I, I'm not sure. I'm not too certain about that. I think he's the CEO of Trioptimum Corporation right now. Um, and uh, so he hired her and uh, f provided major funding for her work, which accelerated it. And then, um, and so, uh, of course. Uh, she didn't really but she didn't really get much time to uh ensure that uh she also was kind of like one of the chief designers of the ship of the ship the von braun in general and of course the von braun was not necessarily streamlined to make sure that uh it was perfect and didn't have any major problems in its systems because the uh, trioptimum uh, uh wanted to rush uh, wanted to rush its completion and get it up into space as soon as possible because, uh, uh, for various reasons, uh, that, uh, uh, were not very good reasons. I can't really remember them. I'm sure it had something to do with wanting more, wanting to get the money that this mission would provide at a faster pace. Um, and so... That's a little bit of a lore system shock. Uh, so Dr. Mary Delacroix, of course, is going to be a major character. As Dr. Mary Delacroix is going to be a major character in this game, and she's going to uh, have some uh, have some significance, especially later on. Uh, right now, she may not. She, of course, may not seem to be very significant, but. Uh, she's going to be a big player in uh, how things go down uh, later on in the game. Um, come on. Ah, no, get the power cell. Oh, I'm being stupid. I'm trying to stick a dead power cell into the... Um, <laughs> into <laughs> I'm trying to plug a dead power cell into the thing because I forgot that I need the power cell. I need to go back here and use the recharger here to uh, to uh, recharge the dead power cell. Now I can go in and stick the power cell into the thing. Um, 
Uh, and uh, I think I, I wanted to say one one other thing before I had my brain fart there with the power cell. Uh, mm, I can't remember right now. Oh yeah, and there's this guy that's in here. And I got him by surprise. Snuck up on him. I can't, I guess I can't really say I slit his throat from behind because I don't have a knife. Uh, but I bonked him over the head. And his back was turned. And uh, then, of course, there's the bio reconstruction device, which. What's kind of sick is that if you died and this thing just rebuilds your body, it's essentially, it really, it, it's not, you're not, it's not bringing you back to life. It's making a clone of you. And like, I don't know, that's weird. It's really weird. Uh, the idea of a bio reconstruction device, it really wouldn't be you. It would just be your, your kind of like your, like, kind of like your twin who is just going to be continuing in your footsteps. Um, and hopefully not die like you did. It's it's weird. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. Okay, thanks, thanks, Polito. And then of course we can uh, we can uh, trans transfer to uh, the med sector and keep it up there. I think I am going since I'm going. Good. Shh. Since I'm going at a faster pace, I think I can get through here. Yeah, the science in the med section at the same time in one video. The many demands to know your intentions. Are you allied with her? Do you not know of her intentions, of her history? She once tried to destroy your species, and now you do her bidding. Intruder entering medical sector A. And then we're getting kind of a small idea into what is kind of going on through that with Xerxes is kind of foreshadowing a bit um, as to uh, what's what's going on and uh, saying that I'm helping someone who is once tried to destroy my species and who could that be? I only time will tell. Uh, lots of uh i mean for those of you who have played the original system shock or know about the story of system shock you have a pretty uh, gosh darn idea of uh, who zirxi was talking about and uh you obviously if you've played this played this game de enough a lot uh you obviously know what's coming but uh, for those of you who are in the dark um i'm not going to spoil it for you oh okay okay you guys you guys liked me before Holy crap, I'm gonna die. Oh, I killed that guy in one hit. <laughs> okay. Oh. That's new. I got some kind of brain thing. I think I had one too. Oh, and there's a surgical unit here. I forgot about that. And then I can take that. And give me a Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme all of the goodies. And... One drink free? Someone... <laughs> was someone letting the monkeys have, like, soda? <laughs> that's like, that's like the remains of, like, a soda package. Somebody was not being responsible with these animals. That's probably why they're so mad. It's because they've been neglected mistreated given a poor diet those poor things not to mention the fact that they've like chopped up their heads and have like their brains exposed but uh yeah no wonder why the chimps are angry you might witness some shh constantly having to shush Polito. she won't doesn't want to shut up I'm having a multitask here because that guy decided to, uh... <laughs> ah! 
a guy decided to uh, dance a merry jig instead of shooting, instead of attack me, and then there's this monkey that's shooting his psionic powers at me, so that's always nice having to deal with. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> it was kind of funny. He like <laughs> he just like started dancing. It looked like. Uh, I almost passed that up. Oh, come here, you. Come here. Ah. Ah. All right. And I will hack that as soon as I get out of here. Nothing. I'm dying. In fact, there's like nothing in here except for the security crate. Crap, I did uh, all for nothing. I just hurt myself for no reason. Come on. 55% chance. The odds are kind of against me with this. Security All system right. offline. This is Xerxes. Gotta get ready for these guys. Assist Die. Die, please. No, 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 no. That was close. I did not like that one bit. I need to go visit the auto dock. Get some heels. There we go. Fit as a fiddle. That's kind of ironic. The intensive care unit is a deadly place. Bad medicine. And then I, I'm gonna go over here real quick. There is a ghost. Where'd everybody go? Spooky. Is this some kind of joke? Hello? And there's a dead guy here, and there's a bottle of champagne that I will take later. And I, I'm gonna save that for later, yeah. There's a monkey. Hey, you! Yeah, he saw me. You know, ac if uh, enemies are actually auditory, they're, they're actually like they like could hear and stuff. And so, like if you if you bang on the walls uh, with like your wrench, they will hear that, and like you can use that to draw them over you. Uh, so, it, little things like that that make this game kind of a lot cooler than uh, it normally would be if it didn't have all those things. Um, so yeah, things that can be appreciated, things that kind of make the, the game more immersive uh, when things happen as you would expect them to happen. Like, oh, you know, there's some, like, monster that's down the hallway, and, uh, oh, bang, if I, I want to get a drum over here so I can take him out uh, and put him around the corner, and so I bang on the wall with my wrench to get his attention. And of course, we, if we go in here, not in there, if we go in here on this guy, he's got a suit of light combat armor, uh, which I think I've mentioned this before, but there is a Cori cursor that you can activate, where if when you click on something, you can read paragraphs of information all about it. So we can read a little bit here. The Dark Tech Class 1 armor requires a strength of 2 in order to equip. The armor is a complex mesh of Kevlar and substrat steel mesh that provides lightweight, marginally effective firepower stoppage. The armor is not only designed to resist penetration, but also disperse the kinetic energy of the impact throughout its frame. Dark Tech is the arm of Triumph's military branch that generally supplies the poorer belligerents, such as terrorists and local militias. While it's better than nothing, more than one wearer has met with an unpleasant end while wearing the Dark Tech Class 1. So that's comforting, but it's better than nothing. And of course there is a security turret here. We can take advantage of for being rendered in this helpless state. I'm going to murder this turret in cold blood. <laughs> I'm an evil, evil person. I missed. Jeez. 
It was like a hair off. My pistol's kind of getting... What is a drop of rain compared, compared to the storm? What is a thought, what is a thought compared, compared to a mind? Our unity is full of wonder. Is full of wonder which, which your, your tiny individualism, individualism cannot even conceive. And we can say hello to the mini again. The strange voice that suddenly appeared in her head. Some uh, larger, more psionically able creature is at work here. Psionic force. Good work. Here are some more cyber modules. Spend them wisely. They're not easy to locate. Hey, I will spend my cyber modules however I please, okay? You can't stop me. But, you know, I thought for, I used to never like to like going through this window here because of the glass pieces here, but apparently they don't do anything to you that hurts you. You can just clip right through them. But whatever. There is space. <laughs> And of course, I'm glad that that's an unbreakable window, as it says up there. It's an, uh, there we go. Unbreakable window. Apparently, I have to back up. I have to look at it and view its magnificence and whole before it will tell me what it is. It's an unbreakable window. It's very good that it's unbreakable. Because otherwise, I don't want <laughs> to get sucked down in space. Let's see if we can... Nope. He turned right around. Welcome you. Ah, gotcha. Made you flinch. And you paid dearly for it, my friend. Um. Good. You've made it. Security system online. Silence, everybody, quiet. I'm trying to talk. Um. Uh, I was trying to say, uh, the idea of the annelids uh, infecting the people and like turning them into the hybrids the way that they do it is was actually I believe it was inspired no scratch that it, it likely was it, it was inspired as everything that's in science fiction is inspired by uh, which is it was inspired by aliens uh, where there's like the giant like waist-high eggs that uh, release the big worms uh, that like get inside you uh, and they burst out of your chest and uh, in this case the worms burst out of your chest and then it attaches to your brain attaches its attaches one end of itself to your head and like kind of uh, uh, it doesn't necessarily it, it kind of it doesn't it kind of leaves your brain alone, I believe, and it, what it does instead is it, uh, it psionically, uh, takes control of your body and essentially, uh, suppresses the power of your own mind to be able to control your own body. Um, and so, but essentially, what ends up happening is the host, for that time, is left... Uh, completely cut off to their own body and they're actually conscious and aware of their situation um, and so that's particularly gruesome and like that's why they are like saying things like oh kill me kill me and stuff like that because <laughs> they're actually alive and a lot and aware that they're being turned into some kind of pawn um, so it's particularly horrific um, instead of what happens in alien where like the alien gets inside you and then it just uses your body to be birthed out of um, and then you just actually die but in this case you don't actually die so if you ask me that's a little more scarier <laughs> than not than, uh, than actually just dying because you're gonna have to suffer for through the whole experience kind of like how the head crabs in half-life work too I believe the host is also alive and aware. I'm not too certain. Um, because I am a weak little nerd, I want to get the uh, lethal weapon again um, so that I, I actually do dish out some pain. Security forces have been alerted to your presence, intruder. The glory of the many demands your capture or destruction. 
And as we can see, it seems that the many uh, has control over Xerxes right now. And I believe something I was able to do. Hello? Oh, shoot. Ow! You didn't even hit me. You clearly missed. How did you hit me? Damn cheating bastard. That's what you get. Um... Uh, yeah, I, before as the Marine, I wasn't able to get in here because I was not a smart little nerd hacker person that can, uh, just bypass the security here, but I am failing at it. <laughs> I have a 60% chance to succeed. Yeah, my, I'm not too good of a hacker right now. I'm kind of a, I'm a beginner. I'm a novice. I will get better. There we go. Just three tries. Oh. Almost forgot about that. There is a bottle of champ. Really, the only thing useful in here is a med kit. Med kits. Um, I'm not sure if I had a med kit in the last in the last video set uh, for this deck, but med kits will completely restore your hit points uh, to maximum, um, and they actually restore your health quite quite at a fa much faster pace than the hypo than the med hypos do. Um, which is a very nice little thing, but of course, they're more expensive to buy and they're more rare to find. And yes, there is a shotgun hybrid here. This which is I will get the drop on him! Aha! And there's nothing in there, and there is a pile of disgusting worms. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> ew. It sounds like I'm crushing a watermelon. That is so gross. I. Did my business. Wash my hands, and then I'm all good. Wash your hands. See, you have to follow the rules, people. All those people who always just walk out of the bathroom and don't wash your hands, shame on you. That's a rule, as you can see right there. Okay, and then into the flooded lower level. Gotta get my feet wet. And of course, another brawn boost implant. That is a broken toilet. I don't think it they had that little effect there um, in in the non in the original version of the game. I think they I think this is something that, I'm not too sure. I think they added this like spewing water effect um, and the mod, which that's pretty cool. Like I said, the mod just I, it really just increases the level of detail that's in the game to uh, be a, a lot better, which like. This, I believe, is also an addition where they added, like, a ladder to climb up, uh, to get to the bunk bed, uh, before, I guess, bef before you just had to kind of, like, hoist yourself up there, but it's little things like that that just really makes the game a lot better. I, it, that was, uh, uh, you guys did an awesome job. Those of you who, uh, who worked on this, if you're watching this, yeah, I... Uh, you guys, you guys are awesome uh, by doing this. Uh, uh, and thank you for uh, sp uh, making the game uh, into what it w what it could have been. Uh, in order to, uh, <laughs> I kind of uh, lost my train of thought there. In uh, thanking you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, you guys, you guys did a real, a pretty, a pretty stand-up job, like in clearing up the textures so you can actually read stuff that was uh, unreadable before. Like many of this stuff, you really couldn't read it. It was like all fuzzy, bad textures, and you couldn't read like the data that was on these terminals. Which, uh, which being able to read it really, if you ask me, it provides a lot more immersion to the game because there's a, you actually can feel like there's stuff actually going on in Earth. In, Inertial navigation online, ask sync tachyon lock, IO stream verify sync pulled telemetry nominal, 
evil spectral flux. I don't even know how to say some of this stuff. Uh, secure turret. Foresight tolerance failure seven percent. You can actually get all this data. Side wheel rotation. I believe this is a scan of the Tau City Five. A bunch of facts about the planet. And then the security. This is like a security station. I think these are lockers here. I I don't know why you can't can't search them. Like maybe get some goodies out of it. Um, but that was the med and crew sector and the science sector. And uh, I will continue uh, deck one for the hacker uh, in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.